what's up Aragorn here, I cut my hair, deal with it. So you guys know the drill, you know how this works, you ask questions, I answer them. Yeah, that's actually pretty simple. Love these videos, I love you! <sighs> Have you seen my mp3 player? Um, no, sorry. Actually some useful information. What do you mean? I always useful in, in, bah! O35, my channel, yeah! Okay, this is getting old. <laughs> How old am I? I am 18 years old. One, eight. Hashtag yeah, yeah, why do you do hashtag yeah, yeah, why hashtag yeah, yeah, I like hashtag yeah, yeah, it's all hashtag yeah, yeah. See, if you actually read what that means, hashtag you ask, I answer, why do you, you ask, I answer, why you ask, I answer, I like you ask, I answer, it's all you ask, I answer. You're insane, bro. <laughs> I like your hair. Oh, thanks. Yo, stoners of freedom, how many are there of you? Like, do we even know that this is real life? Like, maybe we're not stoners, maybe we're rockers. Exquisite example of not featuring bears in a video. Well, of course. Uh... <gasps> All right, so Sebastian Gaming sent me this message uh, privately. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because it's actually quite long, but uh, let me summarize it for you. He basically asks what my opinion is on how to create unique content, content that'll help you stand out. And uh, I actually do have, uh, I do, ha I actually do have uh, a tip for this because this is something a lot of people obviously strive to do to set themselves apart. And uh, even if you have a background in uh, movies, as as um, Mr. Sebastian has uh, has stated, or if you're an avid gamer, like I'm sure a lot of us are, or just an avid YouTuber in general, it can be hard to set yourself up uh, apart from the crowd, especially since everyone on YouTube is obviously into YouTube. And I think that's actually the trick. What you have to try to do is bring in other parts of your life that you're used to, passions, joys, your work even, and bring that into YouTube. If I can use myself as an example, I love architecture. I'm actually studying it right now in university, and that's why in my videos I try to bring that in as much as possible. If I'm live streaming, I'll live stream myself building a building in Minecraft, uh, or I'll make a tutorial on building. That's what I do. That's my passion. That's what I know how to do. That's what I love to do. So that I, I bring that into video games. For example, I'll comment on the architecture in a level design. Uh, and, and sometimes th these can be small things, sometimes they can be complete content changers, but I really think once you're able to bring in something that you're passionate about, something that maybe you have knowledge in, that you can share with your audience, something that maybe not a lot, a lot of people think about connecting, maybe you're into dance and you love Minecraft. I don't know. Try that idea. Maybe you love singing and you love COD. Do something with that. Maybe you love football and love vlogs. I really think that a great strategy is combining two separate ideas into one. All right, guys, well, those were your questions from this week. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked the video, give it a like. And uh, follow me on Twitter. Well, 